to the show. I have a guitar. <laughs> okay. Theme song. Cause it ain't nothing without a theme song. So struggle on done. eating healthy. If you've been uh, working on the food that you've been putting inside of your body, I'm sure, I'm sure you know all about those green juices, right? They look scary, but they're delicious, aren't they? Every single January 26th, we have the opportunity to celebrate green juices all around the world. So what's your favorite green juice? Do you like to put kale in it, spinach? Do you like uh, kiwis in it? Whatever your favorite green juice is, I urge you to please put it in the comments. I'd love to see what everyone's drinking out there. Um, but go out and have something that is gonna be good for your belly today. And if, if you don't know what to put in it to make it green so you can celebrate it, honestly, if you put in food coloring, I don't care. I won't tell anyone. But seriously, it, Get all those good stuff in there, all those vitamins, all those nutrients, because that's the point of it. Everything that we're intaking in our body will affect our lives at some point. So put only the best in it. And why not? Just drink it away in a green juice. Happy celebrating. You got it. It is time for our awesome affirmations. So what are awesome affirmations and why are they important? Well, I'll tell you, don't worry. So awesome affirmations are to reclaim our awesomeness into the entire world. The reason they're important is because they use some of the most powerful words in the English dictionary, which are the words I am. Anything following those words are literally creating your reality. So we use these to reclaim our muchness and our awesomeness in the entire world. So every single day we wake up awesome and we feel awesome every single day because we know we're the awesomest, right? You can repeat after me if you want, but if not, it's totally cool. Um, the words will still soak into your subconscious and go where they need to go. I am awesome. I'm the awesomest person alive. I'm having an awesome day. I'm doing awesome things today. I am the creator of awesome things. It's true. I am awesomely fulfilled. I am totally open to awesome coming my way. I am wonderful, beautiful, talented, strong. Oh yeah, and awesome. I thought that have you ever thought that the way you were raised kind of, kind of deters um, your progress in life a little bit? I don't know if I mean it to that extreme, but I kind of do. So, sometimes the way that I've been raised puts on a lot of roadblocks for me. It makes me get into situations that typically people wouldn't be in like I'm I'm a southerner I wave at people right every time if I'm walking down the street if I'm driving I'll wave at people. like hey how's it going if someone 
if someone makes this mistake of waving at me first, I'm like, hey, how are you? I start a whole conversation. Naturally, like it, I don't even understand why, to be honest with you, but I'll just start a whole conversation with people just because they wave and initiate contact. Now, <laughs> I've had this go terribly wrong with me before. <laughs> I've had people um, run up to me, literally run to me from like across parking lots because I wake. I'm like, oh shit, I don't hear you waving at me. <laughs> so, how how is your um, do you have any habits that you have? developed from your upbringing. Maybe, maybe you're like the kind of person that says, yes ma'am, no ma'am, to everybody. I do this too. Yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. Every single person, older than me, younger than me, you're getting a ma'am, you're getting a sir. That's <laughs> just how I am. And it's, it was something that I had to apologize a lot for growing up because whenever I became an adult everyone was like don't call me that don't call me that and really I'm just like you know I'm sorry I was just raised um I was just raised this way and they're like yeah it's okay just call me by my name so but it is a sign of respect at first I will defend that I will decide I will defend that that is a sign of respect um in any way I'm from this song I I say howdy, I say y'all, I say yes ma'am, no ma'am. Um, I slur my words together, I have a lazy tongue, like, yeah, the whole shebang, that's me. But sometimes we get stuck in these habits, even whenever they don't necessarily hold what's best for us. So today, do me a favor and think about it, journal about it if you can. Some things that you do that aren't helping in your situation that you can still grow from. Like, I was terrified whenever people started running up to me because I waved at them like, terrified. Um, but, Don't, don't think that I'm a pussy or I'm a pushover or anything like that, okay? I'm not. I can handle my own. I'm, I'm quite tough. But I didn't know that at the time. Those situations that I've gotten into, those awkward, terrible, scary, nerve-wracking situations, help me grow. And they'll help you grow too. So today, if you find, or if you think of a habit that you've been doing since childhood, or something that is conditioned to where you live or where you grew up, write about it and see if that's something that you need to grow from today. So just might. Part of the day, ah, oh, patience with loyalty. And I needed to see this one today. So our life, our life has so many things going on with it, but we have to be patient with our own process, right? And loyalty is one that shows us that we can be loyal to those around us as well as, um, as well as have people be loyal to us. We all deserve loyalty and we deserve and everyone deserves to have loyalty shared with them. What is loyalty? Loyalty is, I don't know, more like a ride or die is kind of how I would describe it right now in this moment. But please remember that patience is key because you will get that loyalty that you deserve. You will get it and you can show it as well. 